when I think about video games and what they are and how they function, I think one of the unique things about them is that they can have this kind of depth to them. The core meaning of passage, or like what I'm hoping to convey with it, is something I can't quite put into words, right? It's like this certain co cocktail of feelings around these issues, right? Around the issues of the passage of life, around the issues of your life being finite, around realizations of the passage of time and looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing that you're getting older and how that feels and how that, that, that creeping void <laughs> that's coming toward you um, feels, right? Passage is a, a, one of my most famous games. It came out in 2007, so a long time ago. Um, and it, uh, it, it is, is famous for being very short, right? It's only five minutes long. It's a little uh, meditation on mortality, essentially, in video game form. I was turning 30. Uh, my, old, my oldest child was almost five, I think, at the time. We were getting ready to have our second child, and like life was changing. I was looking in the mirror and seeing that I was going, you know, my, my hair was getting thinner. I'm definitely getting older. A close friend had just died of cancer, and I was thinking a lot about mortality and stuff, and just these feelings that I had, right, about the nature of existence and our, our, our passage through it and everything. I mean, there's there's little sort of lessons or, or sort of things that are sort of obvious on its face uh, about life, right? Like, oh, you know, your choice is wide. You know, that's like being a couple and having to compromise. But it's also trying to do something a little bit different than that. In in that, it's not just like I could I couldn't just list all the things the passage symbolizes, and that'd be a, that'd be the, that'd be it. It's also trying to transmit this aesthetic or feeling. All the little aspects of it together kind of create this cocktail that I think comes close to what I want to express about it, right? Um, like this, this is the big thing that I can't, I can only grab the toe of, right? Or like I can't really corner and color the entire thing, but I'm kind of like, you know, feeling this one little part of it and saying, you get what I mean? Here, play this thing and by playing it. And what, what do you feel when you play it? That's, that's kind of what I mean. I can't put that into words, but that, right? If you wanted to get a message or, or sort of a, a meaning or some sort of, um, you know, uh, aesthetic feeling about the nature of life from passage, the only way to get it is to play it, right? You can't like just look at the, you know, you can't even really necessarily look at the graphics and get it, right? It's like by interacting with it, by pushing up against the boundaries of what the system allows and doesn't allow and what the possibility space is for you as a player, that's where you have this sort of aesthetic like aha moment, right? You're not getting a poem or you're not getting a, you know, a block of text or you're not getting what characters are feeling in a movie. You're getting it by like seeing how the system is constructed. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do something that, that sort of uh, pushes the envelope and, and does something that no one's ever done before and, you know, hopefully creates some sort of emotionally evocative and engaging and thought-provoking ex experience. Mm -hmm.